Hey guys, so Dave from Hot Tips. Today I'm going to show you how to install the Android Gingerbread 2.3.4. And right now, as you see, I'm on a custom Windows Mobile ROM. Um, um, I'm going to link an article to the thread so you can install the HSPL3 for your phone because I really don't want to redo it again. But yeah, what we're going to do is first hook up the phone to the computer. And make sure you put it in disk drive mode. Um, the computer is going to recognize it. Yeah, you, you have to have a memory card in the phone. So back up all your files that you're going to need because we're going to reformat the memory card. So to do so, you're going to right click. You're going to go to format. And it's going to say FAT32. Make sure it's that. It's very important. Hit start on the bottom, hit OK, now it's done, close it out, open the memory card, and with the Android uh, folder that you downloaded, it's going to drag it right over and save it. Because with this new method, you're going to you could be able to download ROMs from ROM Manager and just reflash it from the phone itself instead of hooking up to a computer. So it helps out a lot more. It's almost on. Bam! Now it's done. So you can go to your phone, hold the power button, power off. Now we're gonna hold the volume down button and the power button together to put into bootloader. There you go, that's bootloader. It's going to say USB on the bottom. There you go, it says USB and the cable is connected. So now you're going to open up the HD2 toolkit and there's going to be uh, an executable program called HD2 installer. Make sure you run as administrator. If you don't do it, it's not going to work. To do so, right click it, run as administrator. This on it's only for uh, Windows Vista and Windows 7 XP. You don't need it. And then from here, the bottom, it's going to say install mag loader. Click it. You understand? Check. Check. Next. I'm going to flash it, next, next. It's almost done. Okay, it's done. Now, from here, Unplug the USB cable. Let me move my iPod. You're going to see the screen. Go to power down by pressing the volume up. Press the call button, turn it off. Now you can put in bootloader again by holding the uh, volume down and the power button together. So hold on. I'm doing this one hand, so it's a little bit harder. Plug the cable in. And the HD2 toll cable will still be open. Now, you can press browse. And in the uh, HD2 tool kit folder, there's going to be another folder called radio. After you hit browse, you can click that. So let me show you again. So you go to browse, radio. Press install RUU. Hit yes. Right, you understand. Blah. Here we go. Flash it. And next, next. Now the phone doesn't go into flashing mode.
And make sure you follow us on Hot Tips on Facebook. That's where I can help you guys out a lot easier. If you have any questions, whatever. That's where I also update things and I'll let you know on as well. And we're awesome people. It's a beautiful day outside and I'm stuck inside. I'm doing this for you guys. You guys should be happy. There you go. Finish the phone string back on. Now Megalo is going to open. You can press volume down until you get to USB flasher. Press call. It says for wait for USB. Now it's going to say USB. There we go. Now over here. Make sure Megalota partition is repartition is selected. Choose 150 megabyte. On the bottom it says repartition. So repartition. Hit OK. Next. Next. And there we go. The phone is flashing the partition layout. Okay, it's done. The phone's going to restart again. So you don't need the toolkit anymore, so you can close it. Okay, now you're back in the Megalore menu. Go down to AD Recovery. Press the call button. Now it's going to go into the native, well, not, well, it's native custom recovery mode for Android phones. Now you don't need the cable plugged in, by the way. Now go to install zip from SD card. Hit the call button. Choose zip from SD card. Press the call button. Then there should be only one file since we formatted it and just transferred it over. Press the call button. Hit yes. Well, press call button on yes. Now it's going to download while well, it's installing it. Yeah, this does not work on Macs unless you have um, boot cap, I think it's called. I don't know. I got a Windows computer. I'm happy about it. So with Mac, I have no damn clue. Hmm. Yeah, you can also join us uh, if you want to learn anything new. Ask us any questions. I usually sell a few things there, so whatever. Yeah, well, it's done now installing, so press back. Now, first one says reboot system now. Press the call button. It's going to reboot. But as I was saying, we, well, I usually sell phones or whatever there. If you need phones unlocked for AT&T, T-Mobile, whatever takes SIM card, I can do it. Let me know. Right now it's loading up. Yeah, it's great my rest if you heard that. In the article, I'll also link how to do wired and wireless tethering. Yeah, but you gotta follow everything in the article. If you just watch the video alone, you're, gonna get really, you're really gonna get nowhere. So if you don't follow the other articles, the other links that link into it, it's not going to work. So make sure you read it. Join our fan page. 
and desk away. Yeah, so just tip the Android guy. I didn't put my SIM card in there, so skip it. Or just follow it up. Just put in your Gmail, set it up, set up the time. Which I really don't care about time. There we go. You have Android 2.3.4 installed. The first boot up, it's going to be really slow. So you're going to hold the power button, press reboot. Hit OK. Shuts off, it's going to turn back on. You join our fan page, we talk a lot about technology, iPhones, Android, Windows Mobile, whenever it comes up, Symbian, which is what I use, I have the Nokia N8, and there you go. This does not have the robot noise, so you'll be good from that, and here we go. It's a little slow because it's still loading up, but you know, give it a minute or so. Be nice and smooth. You see how much smoother it got? Well, there you go. My name is O'Day. I'll be the one that's helping you out with this because this is my specialty. Thank you and have a great day.